probably get three messages. The first one is congratulations to Early Year Scotland on its 50th anniversary. I was looking forward to hearing happy birthday to you being sung, but maybe that will come later in the day. Uh, the second message is one about early years. And yes, the government have done very well. Uh, we're looking at expansion and greater importance being given to early years, particularly in terms of the 11.40 hours. Um, but my main message there is, so what about children not to two years? What about the support that needs to be given to parents? What about the research tells us in terms of attuned attachment, which is absolutely fundamental to children's development? So I would like to see uh, at least as much time, effort, resources spent on improving or not to two years. And that's a really fundamental thing for children's long-term development. And the second thing that I've been uh, raising today is really about adolescent mental health. And the reason I raised our concerns about adolescent mental health is because we haven't really got a robust explanation as to why the mental health of our adolescents is, um, is showing signs of distress. Youngsters and adolescents don't have the same mental health or have re reduced mental health. And I've been privileged enough to be now exposed to some of the people who are involved in play. Play in terms of outdoor play, we've got some of that in Scotland but not nearly enough play in terms of risk taking and dangerous play, so children getting allowed to play with uh, fire and hammers and speed and dangerous heights and effectively what we've done is we've not only stopped children going beyond the end of the street but we've also taken any risk element out of play and we now know that that is really, those are the elements, the key elements that build children's resilience and we're now reaping uh, some of the impact of that in terms of adolescents because our adolescents don't have nearly enough resilience uh, as they go through those turbulent years in any case and unless we do something about that we will continue to turn out children who've got poor mental health in their adolescents and for me the key to unlocking that is about our approach to play and we have to generate a movement in Scotland that frees up the nervousness the anxiety about children roaming and about children having access to risky play. And my plea to the audience is that we want to start that movement and we want to make sure that we have got a much healthier approach to children's play than we have just now. And then we might be able to see some of the benefits of that in later life for children.